All right, welcome back to ABA exam review and our BCBA task list series. Today we're continuing concepts and principles with examples of positive and negative punishment contingencies. Like I said in the last video, our reinforcement video, we're going to jump around and we're going to go back to reinforcement schedules in the next video and then continue in order. The reason we're doing that, it just makes more sense to lump reinforcement and punishment together. They also talk about it a few times in the task list and it's a fundamental. This is just what everything else is built upon. With that said, don't neglect the fundamental, basic, quote unquote, easy material, okay? Don't skip these videos because you think you know reinforcement and punishment. You might, but we don't want to neglect the fundamental, easy stuff. People tend to do that and they get to the exam and they miss questions that really shouldn't be that hard. So it's going to be a shorter video. Get through it. Get through the easy stuff. You're building blocks for all the other more difficult terms. With that said, let's continue with punishment contingencies. Check out behavioranalyststudy.com for all of our study materials. As always, like, subscribe, work hard, study hard, and let's get going. So define and provide examples of positive and negative punishment contingencies. So just like reinforcement, we're going to look at our chart from Cooper, a nice visual. First thing we're going to look at is how does it affect future frequency of behavior? And that's really the key point I'm trying to hammer home with the really basic punishment reinforcement stuff. We're looking at future behavior, all right? Consequences affect behavior in the future. So if our behavior increases, we know what's reinforcement. If it decreases or it goes down, it's going to be punishment, okay? Then type of stimulus change. Are we presenting, adding, increasing stimuli, or are we withdrawing, decreasing, removing? Well, we know if we withdraw or decrease, it's going to be negative. If we present or increase, it's going to be positive. That doesn't change for reinforcement or punishment. Positive and negative stays the exact same. Positive punishment is when a consequence presents or increases or adds a stimulus change that reduces behavior. Negative punishment, just the opposite, right? We're removing something that reduces behavior. So when defining a stimulus in terms of reinforcing or punishing, what is the most important thing to consider? Doing this question again, and I sound like a broken record, but it's really the most important idea to take away from our fundamental reinforcement punishment terms. What is the most important thing to consider? A, how that stimulus influences current behavior. We're not concerned with current behavior. We can't change current behavior. Motivating operations are the things that alter current behavior temporarily, Consequences don't change current behavior. They change future behavior. So we're looking for B, how that stimulus influences future behavior. C, is the stimulus like, liked or disliked by the learner? Again, not really relevant. Doesn't matter if they like it or not. It's just how it affects behavior. Is the learner aware of the stimulus, right? We know with automaticity, awareness is irrelevant as well. If it's changing the behavior, that consequence is affecting the future outcomes and the future responses. So what is the most important thing to consider is B, how that stimulus influences future behavior. So just a couple more notes. Positive punishment occurs when a response is followed by the immediate presentation of a stimulus, a presentation of a stimulus, which leads to similar responses occurring less in the future. So we are presenting the stimulus, which is positive, we're adding, and then responses are occurring less, which is punishment. Now we know that when we say similar responses, we reinforce or punish response classes, right? So again, immediate contiguity, the punishment, and we'll talk more about the ethics of punishment when we get there. But just like reinforcement, the closeness of the consequence matters. Whatever that consequence follows is tends to be what it reinforces or punishes. So you really want to make sure you get that closeness correct, that you want to deliver the consequence immediately. Eddie makes a funny face every time his teacher turns around, which makes his friends laugh out loud. The teacher then tells Eddie's friends to stop laughing. Eddie continues to make funny faces in the future, but his friends no longer laugh. What changed Eddie's friend's behavior? At first glance, this might seem like the same question as the reinforcement video, but it's not. What's changed? Well, what's changed is the behavior we're looking at. We're no longer looking at Eddie's behavior. We're looking at Eddie's friend's behavior. So in behavior questions, that's really important. So what happens to Eddie's friend's behavior? Well, we know Eddie makes a funny face. His friends laugh out loud. The teacher tells Eddie's friends to stop laughing. In the future, his friends no longer laugh. So their behavior has done what? It's decreased, right? It's gone down. Okay. And why? Well, the teacher told Eddie's friends to stop laughing. 
So she added a stimuli, which is her telling Eddie's friends to stop laughing, which decreased Eddie's friend's future behavior. So what changed Eddie's friend's behavior? Well, positive punishment. Simple as that, right? Identify whose behavior, what behavior we're looking at. Ask yourself, has it changed? If it did, did it increase or decrease? If it did, was something added or taken away as a consequence? Put those two together and you get a pretty simple answer, right? C, positive punishment. And the negative punishment occurs when a response results in the removal of a stimulus or negative, which leads to those types of responses occurring less in the future. So this is our punishment, right? This is our negative, okay? Negative punishment. Removal, negative, less punishment. All right, straightforward as that. So something is removed as a result of a response, which decreases decreases behavior. Um, response cost, right, is a very common example of negative punishment because you earn a, a reinforcer and then you engage in some sort of maladaptive behavior. We take away the earned reinforcer in order to decrease future occurrences of that behavior. Adam and Anders are arguing over who gets to play the Xbox first. Their mom walks in, unplugs the Xbox, and locks it in her room. The two boys no longer argue over the Xbox. Why? Okay, so whose behavior are we looking at? Two boys. And what behavior? Arguing. So we know initially they were arguing, right, over who gets to play the Xbox first, which is the behavior. The consequence was mom walks in, unplugs the Xbox, and locks it in her room. So the consequence was she took it away. So the consequence was negative. The two boys no longer over argue over the Xbox. Their behavior decreased, making this what? Well, negative punishment. So our answer is going to be D, negative punishment. It can't be reinforcement because behavior decreased. And it's not positive punishment because something was taken away that resulted in the reduction of the future behavior. Finally, answering punishment questions. Ask yourself, did the behavior decrease in the future? Ask yourself, was something added or taken away? And this is pause or negative, right? And then identify the behavior and consequence first. So again, not an uh, overly interesting topic because it's it's really basic. You probably, if you're an RBT, you've been doing this since your RBT days. And so you're like, get to the point. Let's move on to the task list. I'm just telling you, don't, do not, do not, do not, do not neglect the fundamentals and the basics. Super, super important. You have these down before we get to the more harder and complicated stuff. All right. As always, check out behavioranalyststudy.com. Please like and subscribe. Uh, when you pass, let us know. Work hard, study hard. See you soon.